the test on our grinding fuel oil. We're going to go ahead and go through this test so you'll have it. Why are detergents mixed with gasoline? To do what now? The fuel pump doesn't get dirty. It's to prevent deposits. The gasoline at the business end is what we're concerned about. Okay, what goes on over there? Uh, how much gasoline can be made from a barrel of crude oil? That's a nice little trivia question. 20 gallons. About 20 gallons of gasoline. And how much is in a barrel of crude oil? How, much, how, how many gallons is a barrel of crude oil? Anybody know? 42. 42 gallons in a barrel of crude oil. According to the handout, which you haven't read yet, uh, an oil drilling rig can drill an oil well up to what? 26,400 feet deep. Have you ever seen uh, the purest form of grade of crude oil that comes out of the ground? Is uh, My dad told me this, and he worked in the oil field back in the 50s. He said when you get really, really good quality, high quality grade of crude oil, it's like a clear green liquid. Real interesting that he would say that. You expect it to be ugly and black like it always shows whenever it comes out of the ground in the gusher and gets everybody all, you know, messed up and everything. Uh, but anyway, uh, what is straight run gasoline? Gasoline. Raw gas from the fractioning tower. Why does gasoline not need prolonged exposure to air? What do you think? Does that sound good, don't it? Because anything oxidizes, it gets to where it's not as good. Uh, anybody in here ever smell rotten gas? Yes. What do you, do you like the smell of it? Oh, right, no. You know what the worst part about that is? You just about can't get rid of it for a long time. Well, we didn't get rid of it for like a week and a half. And it, yeah, it'll stay and it'll stay. It'll hang in the air. It's just terrible. <laughs> According to the handout, which you haven't read yet, crude oil is also known as what? Black hole. No, that's oil. Well, yeah. Petroleum. Technician A says heavier fractions of crude oil have lower boiling and condensing points, so they fraction out at the top of the fractioning tower. Technician B says catalytic cracking is a process by which parts of the car's exhaust can be damaged. <laughs> that's actually D. Uh, that's neither. Basically, they take this ca this tower and they've got all these little chambers in it, and they heat it up to 1,200 degrees, and this stuff actually cracks. The lighter elements stay up in these upper tanks, and the lower ones go to the bottom. So as you start up at the top, you got ether and stuff like that, and it comes down to gasoline, diesel, and it goes down to grease and tar. So at the bottom of it, you'll have all of your heavy stuff, and in the top, you'll have the lighter stuff. You know, and gasoline is up, you know, in the top, top part of it. Um, let's see, uh, which one we're on? Which one? Are we? Impurities in crude oil include what? Uh, D, all of the above. Uh, sulfur and nitrogen, metals and oxygen, salt water. Uh, why is a fractional distillation possible? Because of the different boiling and condensation points of hydrocarbon compounds. And number 10, why is crude oil called crude? Because it's raw form. It has bad manners uh, because it's in raw form. It's, right. <laughs> it's sociably unacceptable. Okay, we're going to roll from that one into this... Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about oil. I'm trying to move fast enough so you guys do not surely die. Um, all right. Hey. Somebody. Okay, hold on a minute. Y'all chill out for a second.